Okay, the first things first is you need to go over applications, accessories, and then uh, terminal. Then you need SSH into your server. SSH and then your username at your IP. I'm using 192.168.1.30, but you should use whatever yours is. Type in your password and it'll greet you. Then what you need to do is you go you need to go ahead and put in the web get http www steampower.com backslash download backslash hlds update dot bin download that little bad boy and then what you need to do is you need to change modify it and then extract it if there's an extraction problem uh, you need to go ahead and check out the video on how to fix extraction problems say yes to this thing and then you need to go ahead and create a folder move it and change that folder so let's go ahead and go mkdi mkdir new game and MV for move Steam to Ahead and change directory new game. And there's Steam. Um, so you basically need to move the file dot backslash Steam and then the folder dot backslash the folder name that you give right there and then change directory to whatever folder that you're wanting to go to. So that's the folder you make and then you just move on. I chose new game, you can choose whatever you want. Then you're going to want to run an update on that. So just dot backslash steam. And this will let it update, update, update. And it'll download and blah 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 make sure if it gives you that you're good to go otherwise keep going until it gives you that and what I mean by that is variables for what you're supposed to put out so like what you're supposed to do so we need to go ahead and go just use up and it'll pull it back go ahead and go command update game hack game and then we're going for counter strike so counter attack strike s o u r c e attack d i r make sure that's next to each other then simply go dot backslash and that'll do this current directory and what that'll do is it'll go hey no installation sometimes it won't show this most times it won't but anyhow um, it'll go no installation found no installation found no installation found thanks to the addition of orange box it'll now do two of the orange boxes normally it just did three but make sure at the end it goes all the way to 
this has to be say 100.00% otherwise run the command again just hit up hit it again and it'll update itself till it gets to 100% if anything happens you close the terminal whatever it'll stop so don't close the terminal like if I was to close this it'll go away and that'll be done that's basically how you install a Counter-Strike server from Linux to Linux. That's it. Uh, check out the next video on what you need to do to 